everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, my name's Holly. Today I'm going to be creating a blue, kind of sparkly, winged out eye look. I will be doing my full face of makeup too, but I'm going to focus mainly on the eye look. I've done the other eye off camera just to save some time. So the palette that I'm going to be using today is the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette that I used to use all the time, so I was like, I'm going to bring it back again. And it's really colourful, that's why I love it so much. I mainly use this side here, so all the blues, I think. The only blue that I didn't use was like three of them, I think. But yeah, so if you guys want to know how I created this blue look, then make sure you keep watching. The first shade that I used in my crease was this dark blue shade here. And I used my BH Cosmetics number 8 brush, so a flat shader brush. Right, so before I apply the blue shadow, I'm going to actually carve out my brow and apply my base. So I have been using this primer concealer called My Perfect Colour. Um, it's the shade Nude Beige. I just love it really. So the first thing I do is carve out my brows roughly with the dofa. And then I go in with my concealer brush just to get it a bit more precise. And I start at the front of my brow. If you're new here and just watching, I never actually used to start my videos with one eye done. Well, almost done. Um, but let me know if you guys prefer that. I just thought it'd be nice for you guys to see it come together. Maybe I should do the left eye because it's so weird doing my left eye on camera now. And I'm going to start on my right eye. Fingers crossed, it all goes well. And then I'll literally use this as a base as well. Just slap it on the eyelid. And then I just press that product into the skin. And I'm just packing it on in the crease. I'm not doing this dark blue too high because I will be blending it out into the lighter blue. And I'm just bringing it outwards a little bit towards the tail of my eyebrow. Lovely, the fly wants to get involved. And for the next shade, I use my e.l.f. blending eye crease brush. And I dipped into this light blue shade here. And I'm doing what I normally do, I'm packing that over the shadow, 50% on and then 50% off. I'm not doing any blending just yet, I'm literally just focusing on packing that shadow on. It will start to get rid of that harsh line as well anyway. Which is what you want. So I'm building up that shade to make sure it's nice and vibrant. This week, I've honestly had so many ideas for looks in my head, but I've been so busy. So hopefully I can get more things up this week. So now I'm gonna blend those two shades together. I'm not applying any product just yet. I'm just going in with my BH Cosmetics number seven brush. So it's a tiny little fluffy blending brush. I use this all the time because it's just so precise. The key to blending is literally just to spend a lot of time on it. So sometimes you feel like the shades won't blend together, but honestly, just blend, 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 girl. Now I've blended those two shades together and got rid of that harsh line, I'm going to use my Real Techniques 305 brush. And I'm gently tapping into that light blue shade that I used before. And then I'm going in with a really light hand and just blending out that shade. I find this part so therapeutic. I don't know why. <laughs> I think it's because you're not blending into an actual colour, so it's not like the stressful part. It's so weird, because today when I woke up, I was like, oh, it's almost the end of January. And I was thinking, usually there's a day in January where it's like the most depressing day of the month or something, or of the year. And it turns out it's today. And I'm doing a blue eye look, so... Feeling blue. Whack on your blue eyeshadow. Okay, so I'm just blending out those edges. I like to take it quite high up, but you guys don't have to. I just don't have much of a lid step. I just don't have much of a lid space. So I take it right up to my brow bone. And now I'm gonna cut my crease. So I'm taking my concealer brush and the same concealer that I use to carve out my eyebrows and use as a base. And if you haven't seen my other videos, what I like to do is put it on the back of my hand and then literally go in with my concealer brush and apply the product on both sides. And in that way, I find it creates just a nice thin edge, so it's a bit more precise. Okay, so I start on the inner corner and just press on the product. 
And I did the front of my eye quite wide and high. I still don't breathe doing this part. <laughs> and I like to look back and just check that they're nice and even. Probably not, but close enough, right? So how's everyone's January been? It is such a weird month, isn't it? I don't even know why. I feel like it just gets colder and obviously there's nothing really going on in January. Oh, by the way, I'm packing on the concealer. I'm just talking too much. I'm going to be posting some Valentine's Day looks. I know it seems a bit too early, but I'm not the most organised, so if I think about it now, then I'll probably get it up in time. <laughs> Okay, so I literally just filled in my cut crease and only pressed on the product. I don't like to swipe it, as some of you know, just because it doesn't create as much coverage. It kind of just merges the sh eyeshadow. It kind of just merges the eyeshadow into concealer. And then I took my Morphe flat kind of rounded tip brush thingamajiggy. This doesn't have a number because it came in a set, so but it looks like this. And I like to pack on my colours with that. Um, when I've done a cut crease and then I go in with a thinner more detailed brush for the nearer the line So the next shade I'm going to be using is this shade here So it's the one that I use on my lid and it is a bit of a kind of metallic -y color So I literally press that shade on I didn't set my concealer just because the wet base would kind of make it a little bit more shimmery if that makes sense so what I like to do is get as close as I can to the edge of my cut crease and then I go in for more detailed smaller brush just so it's nice and precise. So now I'm going to go in more detailed and use my BH Cosmetics number five, nope, number six, number six brush and the same shade I'm just going to bring it up closer to my cut crease line. Make sure you take your time as well and if you are going to like swipe product on make sure you go in really really lightly just because you don't want to disturb that cut crease you can just press it on as well okay so I don't like to make things easy for myself I'm now going to go in with glitter and outline my cut crease but now I'm going to go in with my collection glam crystals eyeliner <laughs> I'm just losing my words today what is going on this is the Collection Glam Crystals Dazzling Gel Liner, which is so good. I get really confused. Is this Collection 2000 or just Collection? I'm supposed to know this, aren't I? I feel like they're actually better than Heavy Metals. You know, the Urban Decay ones. So, and they're cheaper, two pounds. Okay, and I started on my inner corner. Trying to get it right on that line. And then I brought it out as well towards the tail. I get nervous, so I like to close my eye and just fan my eyelid. <laughs> just to wait for it to dry, you know? I get a bit nervous with my cut creases, just because I don't like to open my eye until it's dry. <laughs> just because my eye shape, if I open it when it's wet, then it'll just transfer. So just take your palette, guys, and fan your eyelid. So now I've done that, I'm gonna work on my navy eyeliner. So I don't actually have a navy eyeliner. If you do, then you don't need to do this step how I do it because it would be a lot easier if you actually do have a navy eyeliner. But because I don't, I just went in with my concealer and used a navy eyeshadow. So I used the exact same concealer, um, placed it on the back of my hand like I normally do. And then what I did was I started in the middle of my eye because I didn't actually bring the eyeliner to my inner corner. I just started from the center, mm, concealer on my eyelash. So I literally just pressed the concealer on. And then I started on the outer corner. And for the outside, I'm gonna clean that up anyway with a baby wipe but, um, or a face wipe. But I just made sure that I've got enough on there to place my navy eyeshadow on. So don't stress about that. So I took this really dark navy blue shadow and that kind of detailed flat brush that I used before and just applied quite a bit of this 
really carefully to the line of my concealer. So I'm just making sure I'm packing it down so the navy stands out over the concealer and it doesn't transfer. And as well, don't worry about the outer edge just because we're going to clean it up anyway. So I'll make it a bit easier as well. So what I like to do next is take a makeup wipe or a baby wipe on my finger and pull the side of my eye a little bit and just clean up this area. And then just wipe off the excess shadow under your eye. So if you made it through all that, well done, because <laughs> I just about did. Next I applied some mascara and I'm using my MAC one. I don't actually know what this one's called, but I like it. I'm just applying that to my top lashes before I put some lashes on. So I'm just waiting for my eyelash to dry down a bit because I've applied the glue and I want it to be a bit more tacky to apply. Um, I'm going to prime my face using the Maybelline Master Prime which is this one, and um, I just like to apply it everywhere. This just helps my face get a bit tacky. I like to press it into my skin as well. Next I'm gonna go in with my MAC Fix Plus spray. And just spray it all over. And then for foundation, I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline 24 hour stay foundation. And the shade that I use is sand. I'm gonna take that on a damp beauty blender. And just apply it. I love this foundation because the coverage is so good. I wouldn't really wear this like day to day. To be honest, I hardly wear any makeup day to day. But if I was like going out for the day, I'd probably use something not too full coverage. But this is so good for photos and nights out. And obviously if you need your foundation to last ages throughout the day. And this one is a good one. I'm just going to lightly press that in. If someone would like to tell me why I actually just set my under eye when I haven't even used any concealer yet. That would be great. And let's just see how this works. I'm gonna put my concealer on top, even though I've just set it. This is just the Primac one that I use. This is more like a testing video now. What's it like to put powder underneath your liquids? So I always put some on my forehead, my nose, top of my lip and my chin. Okay, so I'm just going to blend that out. Fingers crossed it blends out okay, even though I've already set my <laughs> under eye. <laughs> Do you know what? That's actually not too bad. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a hot mess putting some concealer over my set under eyes, but you know. So I'm taking my e.l.f. Dense Crease Brush and applying that navy shade that I use for my eyeliner. And I'm just gonna bring it really closely to the outer corner. And I'm gonna take my large pencil brush and dip into this shade that I used earlier as well. And I'm gonna pop that in the center. And lastly, I'm gonna go into the light blue shade here and just connect that to my inner corner. And I want to use that same brush, tap off the excess and just lightly blend out those shadows. Next I'm going to line my waterline and I'm going to use my Rimmel London Scandal Eyes Brow and Liner. And this shade is, where are you? Cold but Craze and it's got like a little sparkle to it. So I've just finished the other eye off camera and stuck my eyelash on, finally. I'm just going to bronze up my face with the Revlon Sculpting Highlight Kit. 
I'm not gonna go in crazy with loads of contour or anything. Did I just break the chair? <laughs> and of course, I'm gonna do my big ass forehead. I'm going in with the bronzer. Next for my blush, I'm going to use my PS Rose Quartz palette that I got from Primark. And I think I'm going to dip into the shade Too Much, just for blusher. And I'm taking that on my BH Cosmetics number no. 3 brush. I'm just going to bring it up to my cheekbone as well. This blusher is so nice, but it's so pigmented, I just dip loads in and I don't know why. Apples of my cheeks. Okay, I was going to pick up Amrezy for my highlighter, but I think I'm going to use this palette as well. This one's got a pink reflect in it, which I don't normally use, but I feel like it'll go quite cool with this blue eyeshadow. So I like to use my Morphe Fluffy Blending Brush, so it's not too small, but it's not too crazy big, because I like to get it right on the cheekbone. This shade is called So Sweet. It's actually a really nice highlighter. I'm gonna bring that up to my temples too. Look at that, that is so nice. So pretty. I've said this before, but I never go for like pinky highlighters. I love the Amrezy one, that is my ultimate fave, but this one is really cute for this eye look, I feel like. I'm gonna take an even smaller blending brush. This one's from Morphe as well. I'm just gonna do the bridge. And then a little bit on the tip. So I'm gonna go in with my MAC lipstick and it's in the shade Blankety. Then I'm gonna use my Ruby Lip Gloss. This is actually from a shop called Cotton On in Australia, but you can get this stuff online. So it's kind of like a pink shimmery gloss. I'm just gonna pop that on top. Oh, my eyelash is popping off, always standard. Why wouldn't it? It's because I didn't actually apply the glue again. So this is the finished look. I hope you like it. I'm pretty sure this is the first look that I've done where I've used all blue eyeshadows, but I love it so much. I might do it for another colour next. I don't know, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed watching this look. Um, let me know if you guys prefer me starting the tutorial off with one eye almost done, or you prefer it how I used to do it, where I've got nothing on. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial and you like this look, then make sure to give it a big thumbs up down below. I really appreciate it. And make sure to subscribe if you wanna see any more of my videos. I'm gonna be back soon with another video and a new look, so make sure you keep an eye out. I have got Instagram, so I'll link it down below and you can check that out if you like but thank you again for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye